what's up everybody so as my game updates um we're just gonna watch a couple of scenes uh we'll watch a couple of scenes of ayato just as like i said as my game is updating so here we go i don't know surrounding the epicenter of power is a tangled web of powerful factions where vested interests and hidden agendas lurk beneath the surface for someone to not only rise to the top in this environment, but also maintain stability. They must be exceptionally shrewd and highly skilled. Anyone who hopes to meet the man at the top would be wise to first make sure that they know exactly whose side they're on. What's that? Join you for a walk? Hmm. <laughs> Kamisato Ayato is the Yashiro Commissioner. As heir to his clan, he has trained for this role all his life, including in the martial arts. His fighting style channels the power of Hydro through the forms of Kamisato art. A strong current hides beneath the tranquil surface, ready to overwhelm his foes like a flash flood. To the clan leader whose every meal is prepared for him by his staff, cooking is not a necessity, but a pastime. When Kamisato Ayato cooks a perfect dish, he has a chance to obtain a suspicious dish of the same kind. I have to get that achievement Kamisato for suspicious Ayato's normal attack can combo up to five slashes, dealing physical damage. His charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina to charge forward and perform the EI technique, dealing physical damage. Tap what? his elemental skill to shift positions and enter the Takimiguri Kanka state. After this shift, a watery illusion forms in Ayato's original position. After forming, the watery illusion will explode if enemies are near or when its duration ends, dealing AoE hydro damage. While in the Takemiguri Kanka state, Ayato unleashes rapid Shunsuiken attacks, converting his normal attack damage into AoE hydro damage that cannot be overridden. Okay, okay. After a Shunsuiken attack hits an enemy, Ayato receives the Namisen effect which increases Shinsui can attack damage based on his current max HP. The maximum number of Namisen stacks starts at 4. Stacks can be gained via Shinsui can attacks once per set time period and disappear when the Takimiguri Kanka state ends. Also, while in the Takimiguri Kanka state, Ayato's resistance to interruption is increased. But so he can perform charged or plunging attacks. For sure, After the HP increase is irrelevant. Kiyotaki, Ayato receives two Namisen stacks immediately after casting his elemental skill. And when the watery illusion explodes, Ayato gains a Namisen effect equivalent to the maximum number of stacks. Kamisato Art, Suiyu! When Ayato unleashes his elemental burst, he unveils a garden of purity that silences the cacophony within. While this space exists, Bloom water blades rain down continuously, attacking enemies within range and dealing hydro damage. The normal attack damage of characters within this space is also increased. Ripples on water destroy the immaculate face of the moon in its midst, but it regains its composure the moment after they pass. After unlocking the talent Michiyuku Hagetsu, when Ayato is not on the field, if his elemental energy is below a certain threshold, he continuously regains energy. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Kamisato Ayato keeps a low profile and rarely shows his true talents, but when those lured into a false sense of security seek to move against him, he is only too happy to deal with them himself. The Shinsui Ken is Ayato's main means of attack. During battle, Ayato coordinates with his teammates to produce hydro based elemental reactions and take down groups of enemies with a barrage of Shinsui Ken strikes to gain the upper hand. When energy is full, Ayato unleashes his elemental burst, unveiling a garden of purity, which increases party members' normal attack damage and sets the stage for further elemental reactions to flush out any final remnants. Many years ago, the Yashiro Commission faced upheaval for their transgressions. The Kamisato clan survives today because they found favor in the eyes of a god, but they bear an eternal obligation to be guardians of the divine. If you ask the head of the Kamisato clan what he truly holds sacred, I dare say the will of the gods would not be his answer. Oh, yeah? And so, 
Though Kamisato Ayato appears to handle his affairs with consummate ease, when all is said and done, he is simply an ordinary soul caught between the divine and the mundane. If there comes a day when the instruction of the gods conflicts with that which he has sworn to protect, how then will he preserve his delicately maintained stability? Okay. Let's see if there's already builds for it. C zero. Kamisato Ayato has finally arrived in Genshin, so in this video, I will showcase to you all of his teams, weapons, and artifacts I tested out, as well as talk about some of the important things that I honestly think you should know about him if you're interested in pulling for this Boba Tea enthusiast. <laughs> So before we begin, keep in mind all of this footage you're about to see is from Hoyoverse's special media server that I've spent roughly a week inside, learning everything there is to know about Constellation Zero Ayato. Now with this out of the way, I want to first focus on exploring his elemental skill, which when activated, will override Ayato's normal attacks with Hydro Infusion, provide him with new damage multipliers, and in result, he gains these fast and wide normal attacks that look really cool, and you can just hold down the attack button to keep spamming the skill until the duration ends. He also leaves behind a water clone which explodes and deals damage to surrounding enemies, but I'll get back to it a bit later. Oh, and whenever I talk about his normal attacks in this video, always assume it's the ones from his skill because the actual normal attacks have very little to do with him, as you can see from the talent I've leveled on him. Now, normally, if you time it right, 15 hits will be unleashed, and if we assume this is a level 9 skill, this results in about 1623% damage multiplier, which is honestly pretty big with all things considered. You are, however, going to be left in a vulnerable position open to enemy attacks if you're not utilizing Ayato in freeze teams. Which means if he's not shielded, he might get knocked around by enemies, even after he gains resistance to interruption, so don't expect to unleash all 15 hits every single time. Moving on, the other thing I want to quickly go over are the Nami Sense stacks he gains when using his skill, which will provide a slight boost to his infused normal attack damage based on his maximum HP, and you can get a total of 4 stacks. Now the way you gain them is by hitting the enemies, however, his first passive skill always gives him 2 stacks when he activates the skill, and 2 more after his clone explodes. I don't know if it's a bug on my media server, but the clone is supposed to explode when there are enemies nearby based on the skill's description, which he doesn't do that, so you never gain those two stacks because the water clone explodes right at the same time as the skill's infusion ends. So, realistically speaking, I always started out with two Nami Sense stacks, and after a couple of hits, I had all four of them and wouldn't pay too much attention to this overly complicated mechanic. I honestly feel like Hoyoverse kind of dropped the ball on this Nami Sense stack mechanic when I guarantee you, you won't even pay attention to them 99% of the time because of how easy and unnoticeable it is to just have them at max 4 stacks with no effort. On the other hand, his burst is pretty simple and is almost identical to Ganyu's burst since he will create a big field of raindrops that land on enemies and deal small amount of damage, which can become a bit more deadly if you group the enemies into one place because now that same raindrop will damage all of nearby enemies, so naturally, this burst has really good synergy with Venti. It's also important to know that the burst snapshots, while the elemental skill does not, so casting the burst after something like Benny's or Kujosara's attack boost is a good idea, since it will retain that boost for all 18 seconds of its duration. Also, standing inside the field will boost normal attack damage by up to 20%, including Ayato himself, which is not a big deal, but a nice to have buff. But okay. talking more about his playstyle is unavoidable without some teammates involved, so let's move on to his showcasing. Now before I talk about all of the teams and rotations I've tested with Ayato, always keep an eye on the bottom of the screen here to see the stats, artifacts, and weapons I'm using on him because I went through many, many different loadouts just to see how good he is. Also, most of the testing was done against Rift Hounds on the final floor of the Abyss, which means they take less damage from him, provide not a lot of energy, and are really agile. So while the conditions are tough, I think this reveals his potential pretty well in less than favorable situations. Now I want to first begin by taking a closer look at his Hydra application. Most of you know at this point, Hydra as an element is almost essential for any kind of strong Peace, team international, model, national wallet. Almost every meta team build. And so the first thing that's important to address is Ayato's burst. So I've tested his burst Hydra application with almost every pyro character, and I can tell you with enough confidence that no, it's not good for characters like Deluk, Hu Tao, and Yoimiya to vaporize their main attacks because it's not reliable enough for someone like Hu Tao to do charged vape attacks and results in only getting three or four vapes before she overrides the enemy with her own pyro 
Pyro application, and the same can be said about basically any other Pyro character. However, when it comes to Freeze and Electro Charge teams, the Burst's Hydra application works just fine. But the good news are, his elemental skill Hydra application is pretty good. In fact, when using him in an international team variation with Shang Ling, she will be able to vaporize her Pyronado consistently when Ayato is doing his infused normal attacks, although on startup, it will still be two or three Pyronado hits that won't vaporize at first. So while you can do it, there are some trade-offs. Still, using him instead of Child in this meta team comp did prove to be a good alternative option, and I was able to clear the chambers in about the same time as I would with Child, sometimes even faster, because if you're going up against a single target, Ayato's damage is actually better than Child's infused Hydra attacks. But that's mostly because Child is insane with multiple targets when he applies his Riptide marks. Overall, I'm happy with this team outcome, but keep in mind, you need to optimize energy recharge for both Ayato and Shangling quite a lot to have consistent rotations, and more importantly, double swirling with Kazuha is almost impossible due to how Ayato needs to apply Hydro. Which is why I want to talk about his burst cost and the way I am managing his energy. Now, if you're unaware, he does have a nice passive that provides him with two energy points per second if he's off field and below 40 energy. From my observations, if I start a rotation with his burst and then switch to every other team member before going back to him, this results in about 6 to 8 seconds downtime, so it's about 12 to 16 energy total, but there will be some cases where you do his burst and skill immediately, essentially rendering this passive useless. And the thing about his energy is that when using the skill, he will create 1 or 2 particles for a total of 3 times, so on average, it will be about 4.5 particles, and that's not a lot, especially with such a huge cost attached to his burst. And because of this, if you rely on his burst, then you'll probably want to activate his skill two times, which means making some weird adjustments to rotations. Like for example, the cooldown on the skill is 12 seconds, but using those infused normal attacks lasts for 6 seconds. So it's really 6 seconds of remaining skill cooldown. So then you switch to maybe one or two teammates, apply some buffs, and switch back to him to activate the skill for the second time, followed by his burst, that you hopefully have now fully recharged. I am still trying to find the sweet spot for how much ER he needs, but I can tell you that anything above 140% is acceptable, while 170% and above makes it really comfortable to activate his burst off cooldown, and you can sometimes get away with this by just using his skill once. But hmm. coming back to his teams, he seems to work Interesting. in different freeze variations, whether it's Ganyu or Ayaka utilized as the heavy hitter. However, since Ayato requires significant field time for his skill and he doesn't provide powerful buffs and utilities, like Mona with her omen buff, thrilling tales, and even tenacity, the artifact, or Kokomi who can do almost the same stuff except instead of omen buff she heals, you really are just using Ayato for his hydro application and personal damage from his skill. So this means for freeze variations, I found it's best to include Diona for healing along with Noblesse Forset as well as Venti, so that Ayato's raindrops can deal more damage on grouped enemies. I'm not sure what to think about Kamisato's sibling combination because without buffs, Ayaka's burst damage is significantly weaker, and you kind of need to rectify this situation with Ayato's personal damage, which I guess it kind of mixes things up a little, and I could still see good results, but nothing amazing in particular. But overall, freeze teams are great with Ayato, especially since you can use on him Blizzard's Trayer set that essentially provides 55% critical rate if we take into account cryo resonance and with this you could see some really good results when using weapons like harbinger of dawn aminoma kageuchi mm. or miss splitter now i did get surprised with electro charge team variations ayato feels very natural in them he works pretty nicely with beto just keep in mind his skill again only lasts for six seconds and then you need to keep on loading those discharges in a different way and since you're not using shingcho or kokomi the team's survivability nose dives and it only makes me wish hoyoverse finally released an electro healer because I'm not desperate enough to start using Prototype Amber. I also tried out some variations of what I call Hyper Ayato, where my only focus is to maximize on his normal attack damage, and yeah, I could get up to 40 to 50k critical hits, and they felt nice, but the cost to achieve this greatness inside the Abyss is painful to say the least, especially when Yun Jin is involved and how awkward it becomes to maintain everything in cohesion. However, after making one small adjustment, I discovered a team that I personally believe to be not just fun, but also really strong. In fact, I would say that it's possible I don't have to be a better team. So, the secret ingredient here is Fischl, or C6 Fischl in my case. Not only does she help out with energy issues thanks to her last constellation, but her electro application from Aw 
cost, coupled with Ayato's burst and skill, results in consistent electro charge reactions that can be easily swirled by Kazuha or Sucrose. And even if there is someone like Benny, he won't mess up the elemental reactions too much after using his abilities. And just looking at this beautiful scene right here, you can witness the amount of chaos and damage you can cause with this team comp. I mean, let's be honest here, this isn't really a groundbreaking innovation, since this team variation has been before Ayato and it's called Fireworks, and it worked pretty well with Child, but Ayato works so well here that this will probably be my main favorite team to use in the Abyss. Hmm. So here's what I think so far about Boba T. Kamisato. I think he's great. In fact, I believe he is a balanced character and something that I haven't talked about are the vast amounts of loadout options he has. You've seen four artifact sets showcased so far. Gladiators, Heart of Death, Echoes of Offering and Blizzard Strayer. All of them work great and I know that you can also use on him Thundering Fury Force Set and Electro Charge teams, but I don't have it farmed up. Although, the point I'm trying to make is that you can slap on him any of these sets except for maybe Blizzard Strayer if you're not using him in freeze teams and you're good to go. I actually don't think Echoes of Offering is worth farming for and instead, if you have Gladiators or you have spent some time in the Dragon's Spine domain, these sets are more than enough to substitute months of resin you would otherwise need to spend on Echoes of Offering. And regarding his signature weapon, while it's good on him, if you have Jade Cutter or Mist Splitter, to me they felt almost on equal terms. Maybe the new signature weapon would beat them by a slight margin in a few team comps, but unless you don't have any of these 5 star swords, even something like Skyward Blade, I would wouldn't recommend pulling for this weapon, but it's entirely up to you what you wish to do with your primo gems. Now, I also want to mention quickly his free to play option, Amenoma Kageyuchi, because I found it to be not only great in freeze teams, but it also worked as an excellent energy supplier, since if you trigger his skill two times, you can get back to up to 24 energy at max refinement, and that reduces his energy requirements by quite a lot. There's also Harbinger of Dawn, which kind of suffers against corrosion, but okay. overall works great in freeze teams, and as for his best 4 star weapon, I would say hands down Black Sword is amazing on him. It almost feels like it's tailor made for this guy because it boosts his normal attack damage, provides critical rate and even heals him. I'll talk more about his weapon ranking in the upcoming guide video, so make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on it. I also want to quickly mention his constellations. Since I showcased to you his C0 potential, I never felt like I needed more for him except maybe better energy generation, but you won't find this improvement on any of his constellations. Everything here is just to upgrade his damage, so if you think he needs to do bigger hits, well, you can improve that. Overall, I would say that it takes a little bit getting used to Ayato's playstyle, especially if you want to master his energy recharge and rotations, so I'm not sure if everyone's going to appreciate him. Although, one thing we rarely talk about is how hard it is to perfect someone like Hu Tao, and yet she has a huge fan base. So I feel like the same is going to be with Ayato. He is quite complex, there's definitely a learning curve to him, but when you pull off a beautiful or should I say graceful rotation, it feels extremely rewarding. Couple this with the fact he has lots of equipment options to go for, some cheap, some expensive, and you'll probably always find something that makes him slightly deal more damage. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and leave a like to help with YouTube's algorithm. More videos about Ayato coming soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for That's interesting. Wow, they don't have a build for Ayato yet. Yeah, no build for Ayato yet. I guess it's too early. Alright, let's see where we're at. Oh, I should have clicked this because now I got to download things more and then they still have to re recheck. Right, so. Oh, okay, it's going fast, I guess. Well, my downloading is usually fast. It's the allocating or whatever the check verifying file. There you go. That's the one that takes a minute.
Kamisato Aito, the mastermind behind the support of Tenshu Kaku, the Bane of Assassins, and the sibling who got the good genes, is the newest addition to the Genshin Impact roster. If you found yourself with a new watery warrior but don't know what he needs to be his best, you are in the right place. Because thanks to Hoyaverse, I was able to get early access to this dude and really get to thoroughly test him. So today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about Kamisato Aito, including his best weapons, artifacts, teams, and more. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I go live a few days a week at twitch.tv slash Braxophone. And I'm actually going to be live right after this video goes up with Ayato polls. So if you watch this video and you want to see some polls, definitely come on by. With all that being said, my name is Braxophone and let's talk about Kamisato Ayato. Ayato's kit is one of the more straightforward ones of the newer units, even though it tries to be kind of complex. That being said, I'm going to be super detailed so you understand everything. His elemental skill is a stance change, where for 6 seconds his normal attacks are converted to a quick slash of hydro damage over a decent area. These slashes count as normal attack damage, so artifacts and weapons that increase the damage of normal attacks are really strong here because they'll actually scale with the elemental skill. In total, he can slash 15 times in a window of his skill without attack speed buffs, but with attack speed buffs like Gene Constellation Two, for example, he can actually get out more slashes in that 6 second window. Technically, unbuffed Ayato can reach 16 slashes, but it's pretty unrealistic and to be honest, just a huge pain. There's a bunch of shenanigans with hit lag and latency, and I've only been able to replicate it one single time, just assume 15. Every time Ayato hits an enemy with a slash from his skill, he gains one stack up to a maximum of four. Each stack gives Ayato a damage bonus based on a portion of his HP, and the damage increase is really, really small overall, but it's a nice bonus. His first ascension passive makes him start with two stacks right off the bat. Now again, the skill isn't really that complicated, it just really tries to be. You don't really have to think about stacks at all, they're just going to happen automatically. During his elemental skill slashes, he can gain particles up to three times. It can either be one or two particles at a time, meaning you'll get between three and six particles every time you completely use up his skill. Hoyo really loves their RNG right now. Lastly, the cooldown is 12 seconds, but since it lasts for six, it feels closer to six seconds. Oh, and he creates a water illusion of himself that blows up for AoE hydro damage, but in my experience, I don't even really notice it, and you probably won't notice it either. Ayato's burst is a lot more simple than his skill. He's going to create a large area that forms droplets that deal hydro damage to enemies, kind of similar to Ganyu's burst and how it drops icicles on them. The targeting on enemies seems random, but it's not actually random. Technically, the burst is going to target each enemy for a certain amount of hits, again, similar to Ganyu's burst, regardless of their location or anything like that. They have a very small area, meaning that if you group enemies up, you'll be able to hit more droplets and more enemies. It costs 80 energy to use, which can be a pretty big problem for Ayato and some setups, and it also grants normal attack damage bonus to characters within the area and lasts 18 seconds with a 20 second cooldown. And also, just so you guys know, Ayato follows standard internal cooldown, meaning that only 1 in 3 hits, or 1 hit every 2.5 seconds, is actually going to apply Hydro. Lastly, Ayato has a second passive that gives him 2 energy every second he's off-field while he's below 40 energy in his bank. Honestly, this passive doesn't really do much, because if he's off-field, you probably just used his burst anyways and are collecting particles from your support characters, and you'll be past 40 in a matter of seconds. Honestly, this should have been 40 to 80 instead of 0 to 40, but you know, just Hoyoverse things. When you're leveling Ayato, unless you're strictly using him as a support, you want to level his skill first, followed by his burst, and if you're going to level normals, you'll want to do those last. So now that you know how Ayato works, we can talk about his best build. So let's move on to weapons. There's a ton of extra math that goes into picking which weapon is Ayato's best in slot at any given time, and that's just because we have so many new artifact sets and so many new weapons in the game that it's getting much more complicated to say one is definitively the best. With that in mind though, I'm going to tell you guys which weapons are his best options in general and give you an idea of why they're good, rather than rank every single weapon individually. Oof. Starting off, in most scenarios, Haran Ayato's signature weapon is going to be his best in slot. The passive was actually made specifically for him, and there's not a lot of times it loses out to other weapons because it gives normal attack damage damage bonus, but if you have access to Jade Cutter and haven't pulled her on, the damage potential of the two is actually nearly the same. Jade Cutter works really well with Ayato because it increases attack based on max HP, and it also passively increases the wielder's max HP, which pairs well with Ayato's HP scaling on his elemental skill. The cases are very few where Jade Cutter beats Wow, Haran this guy got five of the swords already? 
more about exactly how, feel free to check out the Ayato main's document in the description. Up next is Miss Splitter, which is Ayaka's signature weapon. It's not as good as Haran or Jade Cutter, but it's not really that far off either. All three of these weapons are super close in damage potential overall. Other great options are Summit Shaper if you're not using a lot of attack buffs, Skyward Blade for the extra energy recharge that he needs, as well as high stats, the Black Sword for normal attack bonus and crit, Lion's Roar and Electro Charge teams for extra damage bonus, Black Cliff Longsword for the stats, Amanoma for the solid energy generation and free-to-play accessibility, and Agila Favonia. Worst case scenario, you can use the prototype ranker the game gives you for free if you haven't gotten far enough to unlock the Inazuma Craftable. It has a high base attack and the passive procs off normal attacks, but in general, I wouldn't really recommend it. It should always be a worst case scenario, but if you don't have anything else, you can go ahead and use it. And Harbinger of Dawn is also good if you have a shield, but if you don't, don't bother. Now, real quickly, there's two notes that I have to make, and these are pretty important. One is that Festering Desire doesn't really work well with Ayato because when you use this elemental skill, his biggest source of damage is going to be normal attacks and not actually elemental skill damage. Yeah. Let's try to snipe Ayato, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. We also have more shop in a couple days, so, and Friday. We'll see that. Okay, Genshin is getting way too big for my computer to be running smoothly, I guess, or is it because the timing? Ooh, alright, so we got weeklies to do and a whole lot of other things once I activate this. We already watched that so many times. Okay, go and do this. Okay, more Penguin Gems, I guess. Thank you. What is this? Oh. That's interesting. Do -do -do. Oh, a whole lot of shit. A whole lot of stuff that I don't really care about. Oh, I don't know how I got that. But apparently we got that already. Okay, a whole lot of things too. Wait, so the Venti rerun is with Ayato? Oh, wait, what? Oh, no. Okay. Trash. Alright, so the initial pulls, no 5 star even, so. Hmm? Wait, oh. Young Jun.
Let's hold off on that real quick. Get this. Wait, what the hell just happened? Uh, what? What just happened? Hello?
Sorry, I'm resolving the issue. What the hell? There we go. Elegance. So we did about 36 plus 40. That's 76. Let's check first. Okay, I already have all of that done. It's all garbage. That's all garbage. Oh, what is this? It's already a five, so that's garbage. All garbage. All garbage, all garbage, all garbage. All right. Have I even finished? Oh, I haven't even finished this off. Oops. Okay. 
Did they not give me anything? What the fuck did... Oh, they're very low amount. I forgot. Okay. Oh, snap. Alright, so I actually did that. Okay. That's, that's, that's tragic. That's very tragic. I guess I could always go to one of my alts and do their dailies in my one of my alts. Before we hop on my on my alts, let's go do the weeklies real quick. So my my thing doesn't max out. Not like it's gonna max out. But Forgot. I don't know why I did my dailies this morning. That was a mistake. Rip. Troll. 
いざ天理長久揺らぐことなし。あ、oh. あ。そう。ランド行こい。お触り禁止。ふ、ふ、ふ。ふ、いざ。BPS ここを見ガンザン There we go That overheal damage. Wow, the chasm is so small. Thought it's gonna be bigger than that. この仕事は排除するべきですね。この仕事は排除するべきですね。行きましょう。深海の Tendo Gunsang 
Oh, what? Oh, shit. Maybe. せっかくのチャンスだ。本気を出して俺を楽しませてくれ。投稿も一つの選択だよ。俺は歯医者に優しいからね。難攻不落。海のちぎりよ。はっ。ソーランの行こ。天神直送。ぐっぐっぐっぐっ。お、oh. of course <laughs>。Fire damage. じゃない極寒のせいそれとも恐怖剣女万弱ご助力ご連気過信次の仕事は。ついていきます。ソーランの憩い、風雪の祝分。よっ。<笑>競争よ、決心となれ。れ、部外者禁止。や、すべてが燃え尽きるまで。はい
Oh my gosh. Is this my world? Nope, it's not my world. Oof. Okay.
Oh, wait. Oh, my bad. Oh, it's the wrong teleportal. I didn't give that weapon to anybody yet, right? Yep, it's still right here. Okay. This is going to be... Yeah. With that said... Let's... Do a test run on him. Can you hear you? Sanjak no shoe. Definitely, definitely, I need him. させ<笑> こいつはどうだ。逃がさないわよ。風
この瞬間お前は早く投稿します7号式モジュール Okay. She's done. We're just waiting for Shenhei. Let's see what happened here. Let's see. Alright. Oh no. We will pull a Mona.
Okay, well, we got more shop to buy in a couple of days once this open up. So, we should be good with that. We still have all the events to go through. Okay. So far, no luck in there. Let's get some Prima Jumps over here. Uh, see, I'm not really scared. So let's just go do this. Need a healer. Call me on this team. Let's put eh, why not? Right. It'd be nice if I don't miss my shot, though. I just need 12. The hell is this? Oh. Okay. 
Hello? から我慢しろよ。はっ、いや、はっ、いや。平気心速。いや。はっ、はっ、いや。無駄だ。いや。一緒に遊ぼうよ。風だ。はっ、はっ、逃げられるかな。無駄だ。西洋鍋。ここだ。行くぞ。くだらない。ここだ。せ。無駄だ。せ。ここだよ。隙を見せるのはほんの一瞬だ。来い。Six stars. Yeah, Tendo Bansu. Gamo take no Tamani. ドリア。天道、ここにある。そうか。お前の出番だぜ。天道万象。痛いから我慢しろよ。平気心速。へっへっ、やっ、やっ。一緒に遊ぼうよ。逃げすぎ。ふっ。せ、へっ。逃がさねえ。くだらない。消えろ。ここだ。やっ。Oh my god. That was pathetic. Um, but now. That was very confusing. So let's do this.
逃げようなんて思わないでよね。元気出してよ。わめくがいい。ここだ。無能。はっ。無能。くだらない。無能。いえ。俺様に任せろ。痛いから我慢しろよ。いや。陣営のごとく、まだ剣よ、影に従え。ルリのように落ちなさい。はっ。はっ。いや、いや。はっ、いや。足元に気をつけて。風だ。みんなを守るから。せ、いや、消えろ。ここだ。せ、え、無能。That was easy. What the fuck? を見せるのはほんの一瞬だ。いや。走るより飛ぶ方が早いよ。逃げようなんて思わないでよね。一緒に遊ぼうよ。元気出してよ。わめくがいい。無能。ここだ。無能。ここだ。ここだ。ガントギュ。風だ。お。砕き上がれ。鬼の超キランブ。ドリア。ふ。さ、さ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。ふ。
Water Electric, so I need ice I guess I can somewhat Vaporize that? Maybe? No Too lazy Okay, yeah, Miko's level 90, so she could replace, but I gotta, you know, I gotta get the other guy first, so. I, what is this? this first wait a minute is it a oh it is What did what do you have? Okay, I unlock all the store.
キャサリンが神社におみくじな、なんだか珍しい光景だなあ、いやそこじゃなくてお前、たった一日のうちに稲妻まで行って帰ってきたってことかここリーユエだぞ<笑>私もたまにはプライベートを楽しみたかったものでそれで、さっき言ってた思い出がないオイラたちのことなのかさあどうでしょうただこの期待感が胸にある限り誰と会っても嬉しい気持ちになれそうですはあオイラたちほぼ毎日会ってるけどなキャサリンが喜んでくれてるなら別にいっかそのうちこんだごよす。わたし、なにかふれてはいけないことを言ってしまったのでしょうか。あいや、大丈夫だ。気にしないでくれ。それよりも、依頼の話に戻ろうぜ。何かオイラたちにぴったりな依頼はないかええそれでしたらちょうどいい依頼があります甲府の方からの依頼でして双眼鏡園を調査してほしいとのことですえそこって封鎖されてたよなもう解除されたのか詳細については依頼人の月木さんに聞いてみてください彼は今双眼鏡園の近くにいるはずですおうわかったありがとうなキャサリンはい明日新演を目指せえー、っと今回は本当に新演を目指しているようですね幸運を祈りますうん。流通のために作られた船は港に泊まる、はい、だからリーウェはあらゆる富が沈着する場所だあなたは酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた
Wait, what? How did you get through the chasm? Why is there no... Seems like there should be dialogue in here.
Did you really? As long as you understand, we're good. In which case, I won't think of that. Thank God. You already spent so much of my time. ああ、こんにちは。その ここにはキミオなことは何が起こったんだ。おいらたち詳しい状況はまだ何も聞かされてないんだ。まあ、大したことじゃないんだが、虫もできない不気味なことでな。ある日、うちの甲府が休憩していたら、意識の朦朧とした昼
Oh, that's a that's a different one. Oh. Name is already well known throughout the world. Cursing the open path is carnage for Gun Kingdom beneath the world. is up precisely. Oh, it's uh, not really awesome. Oh, let's see, Monster and Jiu Okay. It should really be audio, like, scripts for this, but if they're not talking, I'm just gonna skip them. So, sure, is a lot of scripts and talking on this update. <laughs> Hey, what? Just start from looking to get Geo for I have been passing Mr. First they seem to have grown up with a bad dragon share zone. That have been so genuine from the surrounding soldier. Oh. 
Wait, what? Oh. Okay. The hell was that? What is this? Is this one of the bedrock I'm supposed to destroy? No. おさわり禁止。念の表情。律令に従え。と。いざ。ガンザン八九。
揺らぐことなしいざふやっ進展同地来たかいがあったはっふっいざ難攻不落。はっ。はっ。ふっ。やっ。これは。何に使える。難攻不落偶然の出会いには趣が揺らぐことなし。難攻不落<笑>隙ありはっはっはっやっご安心を<笑>はっいざはっ進展同地いざは偶然の出会いには趣がある。任務の目標は何をすればいい<笑>好きあり<笑>いざ Wait, what? Use the page. Oh. Wait, what? I am so lost.
Wait, what am I destroying? I'm lost. のためにあの頃とはもう違う。旧友とビは Okay, so it was that. You two know how many it's good at a clear me not only tomorrow. Dark at a river. Are you to me not in checks to the basura? the wrong way I guess Bandak.
La 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 la. ガンザン八九。はっ。いや、ふん。いざ。
ああ。いざ。難攻不落。騒乱の勢い。天理聖く。で、表層よ。決死。相関結晶。はい、この仕事は排除するべきですね。ご助力を。難攻不落。あ、と。や。や。うん。うん。難攻不落。さ、ふ。せ。は、は。剣魚万弱。好きあり。ふ、甘い。
Yeah. ご安心を律令に従えルリのように落ちなさいお触り禁止Let's go!
の仕事は美しい宝。いざ禁止天道ここにある。いざ安山八九難攻不落。元山八九、す。念の表情、部内者禁止。
山八区天理長久古の宝物、実に貴重だ。Well, <laughs> this is as far as I'm gonna go for now. Um, getting a little sleepy, so I'm gonna go come back on this. A lot of things to do. Let me see this. How far am I? Oof. So I'm about six. 60 rolls. So I just need 20 rolls. Should be able to hit that 20. 30 rolls, whatever. Thanks, Sam. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.